to one of my staff. All right, because she's here and she's telling me that the door was kicked in. No, I, she I just, she doesn't go in the house. There's nothing there. I just, I, we've been working there for over a week. I just, I just left there. So that means. You left there earlier today? Yes. That means and the door wasn't broken, obviously. No, those are brand new locks that we just put on. The box is still there. You can talk to the back tenant, too. They'll confirm that they've been out of there for quite a while. How long has it been? Have they, have they been, like, formally evicted? They moved out on their own. Is, uh, what are you looking to have done here? So I can just kind of get a game plan of what we got going on. Uh, rested for burglary and property damage, trespass. Alright, it's, um... Alright, we'll have to figure it out because I don't know if the burglary is gonna work because if she hasn't been formally evicted, I don't know how that's gonna work. But she... Yeah. So we'll figure it out when you get here. Um, I'm gonna go and hang out with her and try to get her story straight because obviously right now you guys are seeing two different stories. Well, Hey, it's that big brother again. Hey, what's up? Hey, back in the, you said she texted you in November saying that she was moving out? The husband did. The husband did. Okay, did they give you a date of when they're moving out? Yes, and then we also have another text from the same number where they stated that they would be moved out by February 25th. Okay. So I can show you that when we get there. I can show you the email when they when they stated they were going to be moved out in November. And then again when they stated they would be out. February 25th. Okay, so they, they, they said that they would be moved out completely by February 25th. And that's in a text message from the hospital. It's a text message from Lanasia, actually. Nail it back on. It's going to use the same piece of wood and everything. But obviously, it's just a tricky situation because she said she would be moved out, but there's. I mean, if she's just here, then it's not a burglary because she needs to have... She sent to... photos that she was inside of the property. Right, but a burglary, you need to have intent to commit a crime while you're inside the house. Because they're not committing a crime inside the house. They committed a crime for different reasons. That's a completely different set of charges. So. And I talked to the guy out back, and he said that they moved out last week sometime. And he couldn't give me a date. And he's like, I came home one day and I saw both doors wide open. And that was yeah, within the last couple days. And he said he saw the door frame broken, and it was from when oh, cops came. I have pictures, in. so I I don't really know. But you guys are obviously saying we took property photos. Completely different, yeah. different stories here. And she's saying she came in and the door was already like this when she got here, so it's no this door this door was kicked in. Years. This is the door that was kicked in before. Right. This is new. This is brand new. This is brand new damage. It appears that they that it was just the knob that was locked. That right, but even open. even when a door is booted, like this gets bent. Or yeah, damaged. that would be all broke. Okay. okay, can I slip? Can I slip by you guys and get this off? Yeah. yeah. Maybe a. a 
I, I don't think these people have any capabilities of repeating these things. I'm just so, telling you, this is a brand new lock. This is brand new damage. We have photos to support it. I, I understand you're trying to de-escalate here, but this, I gotta pay for this. This whole property was fully remodeled. All the damage you see is from them. Is, are you wrong? This is, we did a $70,000 remodel on this property when we bought it. Okay, when, what are, what are we talking for a time frame? Okay. What do you mean? Like when, when, when was this remodel done? A year. A year ago? When they moved in. Okay. We put $70,000 into this place. And so everything that you see, the condition of it, is from their tenancy. Excuse me, officer, can I please say something? If, Are you Ron? If you, can, if you can keep it like this. Yeah, because this is the first time I'm ever seeing you ever since I rented this house. So you called the police and said that I abandoned my son here for two months after you said, after you sent me a late rent, rent uh, request, right? What? You didn't call the police and said I abandoned my son here for two months after you sent me a late rent notice, right? We had a maintenance guy come here. No, there was never no maintenance guy here because I don't work. I'm home every day. He, he said listen to you when you were talking, so just let him talk to her. All right, talk. We had I'm getting a police report. The back tenant called. The heater wasn't working. We sent maintenance here. They knocked on this door, and they thought, because they were supposed to go back there, they knocked on this door, and a kid answered, and he said his mom wasn't home. Can I just say something now? So our Mr. I, um, I asked Mr. Bushy to use his phone, and I asked what was going on. His heat wasn't working, and I asked him, was this maintenance in front? He said, no, that's somebody that he hired. Ron never actually sent anybody over here to hit fix his heat. Mr. Bushy had to pay for that with his old pocket. So again, why are you lying, Ron? That's, that's not true. That's not we true. have evidence that our guys were here working. No, the, I have the evidence too. The thing is just completely, it, it doesn't, it's, it's out of the picture right now. Cause no, it's either, not because. Either one of these kids is absolutely fine to be here on their own. If, My son has autism. Right, and if you, have, if you feel that he can be here on his own and he's not in danger to himself or but you that's still the it. deformation of my character that that's saying i abandoned you said i abandoned my son here for two months that's what the police said out their mouth but no. it's so funny because a week before right, that let's, let's talk about tonight because i'm not okay that whole well, thing's all right well over. officer like you said if I, i'll kick that door open that would be broken this is broken this is a high-end lock this is expensive it's brand new it's no i push this straight open you push that, the store open? This door wasn't even shut. It can't shut. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I can't shut now. Now it that it's broken. Shut. It never shut. I walk clean in here. Do you have the pictures, Kat? I had a very beautiful hundred dollar pair of jeans here that flared with rips in okay, them, and I truly believe one of you would have taken them. Okay, I didn't. Uh, you have a. <laughs> I'm gonna take your jeans. <laughs> We live in the country, not the city. <laughs> They're country looking pants. No. All right, let's not argue about that. All right. But like the officer <laughs> said, I didn't kick that door in, so I have to. Were you able to find the photos? Scott sent me property photos. I can probably find them. Yeah, let's let's do that. Here it is. Yeah. I told you it was mold on my tub. You told me to wash it. So you're a great landlord. You really are. And just hey, like the police you just, said, you, you can't even finish getting your stuff. Yup. You're a really great landlord. Thank you. I don't understand. Like, we've explained it very clearly to you that it's not burglary. It's not trespassing. She is the tenant here. She hasn't been evicted. She you developed residency here. every person okay. that moves out of a property. Right, but there hasn't been an agreed date. There's been him February asking. February 25th. Yeah, and then he said, I need a couple more days. And then it was acknowledged. I need more time. It was acknowledged. It shows on his phone that those messages were read. He has every message that he's ever sent to you guys and it us. was sent back. I don't, I, don't, I mean, see, it, it's, listen, Ron, if, if he was sending you a message saying you one more and that wasn't cool with you, then you should have gone and got him evicted. You should be like, nope, we agreed on the 24th, you're not out, and now I'm evicting you. That's how that works. That still would have been 30 days from the 24th. That's, well, then that's what it, then you should have evicted them back in November when there, there's they a pending eviction paying right the rent now. anymore. There's still a pending eviction right now. They moved out on their own accord. They ended their lease. When did they end their lease? The February? 20, the 20, when they moved out. Okay. When they moved out, that was it. I mean, what if I had another tenant in here? Did they sign any lease closure or anything like that? That's, not That's a not a thing. <laughs> a lease closure's not a thing because I, I don't like renting stuff. I've had to sign closures when I moved out of an apartment. 
We're done. Gone. We're done. That's no. that's to get your security deposit back. If, what if I had another tenant and they came in and they did this? Why isn't there another tenant in here then? Because it's trash. But I mean, imagine that. But, so because it was, there, because there wasn't another tenant in here, you don't work out what ifs and, and probabilities. Okay? You're doing it right now. No, I'm not. You are. <laughs> I literally told you what was going on. They weren't evicted. You guys didn't correspond with them about getting the rest of their stuff out. Okay. Okay. March 6th. Okay, what was after that? Like, how much of this are we supposed like, are they, how long can they keep doing that? Because they months? could just keep going forever. Just want, like, do months? Like, this is ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, the last message was yesterday. Is it okay if we have one more day? The weather prevented us. Yeah, you guys didn't we don't have to respond at that point. They, but you're acknowledging that you that you see it and either are okay with it or you have a problem with it and you can't. When, they can't do you that. You have an iPhone. When you open it, it says red. That's not an acknowledgement. That's what I'm saying. You should. If you weren't okay we with have that, no, you should have. We have zero obligation to these people. We don't. We're not slumlords. We're not putting in a piece of broken. Fucking door I'm not saying that, but you don't need a whole Officers, door I just have to that. grab one crate and my husband has to come grab it because it has a 500 pound dumbbell in it. A 500 pound dumbbell? Yeah. That's impressive. He He's a um, heavy lifter. All right. Bodybuilder. Very that's strong. It? And man. that's everything? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna get confirmation from her to you guys. I will that. legit have both of them say they have everything. I want it signed. I want signed proof <laughs> that they aren't coming back. I will be parked out front for the, this week um, in the mornings and the afternoons because my son's bus did not get switched yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's what right is, by the door. They it's still something I'm giving stuff. to my friend. The, the white thing there. They, they built and it's a golden so. white stand okay. and a golden yeah, white um and then they and, um, table. One can your friend come get it. I can't come get that to the morning. Mm -mm. It's gotta go. What, 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 is, what is it? They could toss it then. I don't care. All right. So you have all your stuff out of there. Yeah, I just I'm coming when I come get my son. Drop him off in the morning for the bus. I'm taking all my Christmas stuff out this yard. I'm getting my propane grill out the backyard. I'm getting my hundred dollar light um my hundred dollar light umbrella out the backyard. I'm getting my fire pit. And are, that you, grill. are you guys okay with this Last stuff row. outside the stuff? As long as she does not enter the property, that is fine. Okay, you're you're okay with that? They're good with you getting the stuff outside. Just don't go inside. I don't want to go inside. All right, so don't go inside. You can come right. here tomorrow. Get the shit that's outside. Mm -hmm. You guys are happy. They're I don't happy. want. I want to wash my hands with this man. I just want to go downtown, get this police report for him saying right. I left my son in here. Go file my, go okay. file my lawsuit. What I'm saying is, if you come here tomorrow and you guys have agreed on not going in the house, yeah, I don't have in, to say nothing to them. If you go them. inside, you're gonna get arrested. I don't, and I don't have to go inside. I, I got all my stuff. Okay. And I'm gonna see you in court real soon. <laughs> I wish you email me better emails. All right. Can we do a walk through now? Yeah. This is, this is yours. Alright. All right. <laughs> we'll, that, we'll lock it all up. Thank you. Have a good night, kid. Happy cleaning, guys. Oh, she's such a scumbag. So, will this that full? No. I don't think so, though. They fucked no, up. It was. It was. It was. It pulled that whole thing open. Look, yeah. it pulled out. That's no, not, okay. So obviously it would have been nice to get them arrested, but there's too much plausible deniability that they didn't actually break in. But what I was trying to tell the police was that they had left and they were gone for a minimum of two weeks. So if we, what if we had placed another tenant in here and then they came in and they kicked the door and on the other tenant? That clearly would have been a crime, but for some reason, because it's still vacant, they didn't call it a crime. And I understand they only want to press shit that they can actually convict. 
and they, yeah, there's too much plausible deniability, so it didn't happen. But let's go through and look at the damages here. This was this had a seventy thousand dollar remodel on it before they moved in. They stopped paying rent last year. We did have an eviction for them, but we didn't evict them. They moved out on their own accord. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, they texted us all this stuff, said that they were going to move. Great. We waited a couple days after they said they were going to move, came in, changed the locks. Here's the old locks right here. <clears throat> changed the locks and everything. This was secure. And when we came in, we took full property photos right away. So this was kicked in. The whole casing is just ripped off. All right. Looks like hoop. Yeah, I'll record. Well, coops. All right, I can't get the flash to work, so it's gonna be dark. Calf, can you turn your light on? So their shitty couch. So yeah, you have to imagine that this. I mean, you can still kind of see it. Can we get these lights on? I mean, yeah, you can see it. Like, look at the walls, the new trim, the windows, the floors, etc. The LVP in the bathroom, new toilet, vanity. We did all the B board and the trim, all nice. New light fixture. And yeah, what she was saying, she was like, "There's mold in my tub," and I was like, "Well, dude, you gotta clean your tub once in a while, you know." Broken door over there. Completely. <clears throat> LVP floor in here. Smoking inside. These these were original cabinets that we painted, but yeah, appliances were new. I have no idea about this dishwasher. But you can see, like, the appliances were new. We we didn't even take the plastic off, and neither did they. So. What was the neighbor saying? That they left two weeks ago, and then they came back today. Was he, like, on our side? Or yeah, he was, he was on our side. He was really nice. Upstairs. Like, look how dirty this shit is. How does this happen in a year? Not and it's it just smells. It smells like piss. Why? It smells like literal shit. Like not not even holds Well, this will be for rent soon. I'm not gonna go in the basement. Looks like they were using this for a bedroom too. Oh, what is this? This makes up for it all. <laughs> Cherry. What? So, what do you think, Ma? Was that as crazy as you were expecting? It was pretty crazy. I've heard a lot of stories from our workers that that tenant was pretty psychotic. So, <laughs> I think that's definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> And I think she should have been arrested. For sure. I agree. Oh my God, Catherine! <laughs> I have evidence that you stole those. All right.